everyone. Welcome back to another video in our series on visualizing data. In the previous video, we were able to make this really nice chart using Altair. And again, Altair is going to be the main plotting library that we use for the rest of the class. Um, but I do want to introduce you to two different libraries, namely Seaborn and Plotly. So the main point of this video is one, I'm going to show you these libraries exist. And two, I'm going to show you the basic syntax. Um, and you'll see they're very similar in spirit to Altair. Um, basically, logically, they're the same, just, just some kind of syntax differences. Um, we won't be doing much with Seaborn and Plotly after this week, um, but if you really like them and want to deep, uh, kind of do a deep dive and learn more about them, it might be a nice kind of additional thing to add to your final project. So, okay, remember, we're kind of plotting this um, miles per gallon data set, and we were able to plot weight versus miles per gallon. And we're going to do the same thing for using Seaborn. So I'm going to say here, maybe using Seaborn. Um, so we're going to make a similar chart. So it's going to have X, Y axes and color, but no tooltip. And first thing we do is import Seaborn, right? So I'll say import Seaborn as SNS. Um, I already have the data imported and really Seaborn is already imported for me to get the miles per gallon data set. Um, but maybe as just like a quick reminder, I can show you we have df equals sns dot load underscore data set. And here we want miles per gallon. Oops, so there's our data set looking good. And now how do we actually plot it? Well, again, I want you to notice the approach is almost exactly the same as Voltaire. The syntax is just a little different. So I'm going to say sns dot and now we have scatter plot. And I encode everything now. So the data is coming from df x is going to be equal to the weight, y is going to be equal to the miles per gallon, and we don't use, oh, it, here, it kind of, uh, it's telling us, so we have data, x, y. Now, hue is, instead of color, what we call, so hue, this is going to be origin. And let's run it. And, okay, looking pretty nice, right? So let's compare the two. Here's using Altair. Here's using Seaborn, and we don't have the tooltip here, but uh, we can see the plot looks pretty nice and kind of encapsulates uh, the same information. So great. Also notice here, if you're familiar with matplotlib, you should think about matplotlib here. But great, this is looking good. Um, again, I just wanted to show you basic syntax and how similar Seaborn is to Altair. Um, kind of, we're going to do the same thing, but now using Plotly Express. So I'm going to import plotly.express as px. Then what I'm going to do is say px. Dot, and here we use scatter. And I specify data frame. So notice that's the first uh, argument. So this is going to be df. Then I specify x. This is going to be weight. Then y. This is miles per gallon. And notice now we're back to the word color. So color is equal to origin. And let's run it. And here it is. Okay, so looking really nice. And what's really cool about this one is uh, it already put the tooltip in for me. So this has a little bit less data than what I had in the other one. But um, here, so it's populating it with just the three columns that I encoded. Something else I can do is I can kind of drag um, across an area that I want to zoom in. in. So notice now I'm zoomed in. And to zoom out, I can double click. And yeah, so really quick video, just wanted to show you um, these two other plotting libraries, again, we have maybe like one homework with them, but other than that, um, we're not going to be using them much. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to go back to Altair and talk a little bit more about um, encoding columns and different types of data. So I'll see you there.